brothers and sisters. It's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, you will rise again. You will rise again. This topic is music to some people's ears. It's music to my ears. If you've ever been through a tough time, if you've ever been through a setback, you may wonder how you will get back on track. Last week, I spoke about the divine reset from Almighty God. To reset means to make an adjustment, to set something to a new setting or to set it back to its initial state. When God resets you, he gives you a new beginning. He puts you back on track. What do I do after a divine reset? If I've prayed for a divine reset, do I need to take any other action? Yes, you do, because there's the God aspect and the human aspect. God does his part and expects us to do our part. It's time to rise to a new level. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. Despite the setback, despite the challenges, you will rise again. Going through challenges is part of life. Psalm 34, verse 19 and 20. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. He guards all his bones. Not one of them is broken. The New Living Translation, the righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them, not one of them is broken. We all go through periods of troubles, of trials, of challenges, but we have the assurance of God our Father that he will deliver us, rescue us every time, all the time. Your bones will not be broken. You will rise again in Jesus' name. Amen. Micah 7 verse 8. Do not gloat over me, my enemy. Though I have fallen, I will rise. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will be my light. I will rise. According to the word of God, you will rise again. What kind of setback or downturn have you experienced? Is it a financial downturn, a job loss, career setback, disappointment in relationships? The Lord God Almighty will rescue you. In Jesus' name, amen. Whatever the setback, you can come back from that setback. When things go wrong and stay wrong for a while, we may react in several ways. Lose confidence in God. Lose confidence in our competences, our skills, our abilities. We may even blame ourselves. We may suffer with low self-esteem. We may feel ashamed or discouraged or depressed and sometimes even suicidal. And all these emotions need to be addressed. Each of us would react differently and our emotional responses will be varied. So do I hear you ask a question? What do I need to do to rise again? I'm going to highlight a few aspects. Number one, acknowledge the challenges. Acknowledge the situation. Acknowledge the emotions. Recognize the pain, the shame, the hurt. The bitterness. One of the best ways to rise again is to keep it real. Look at the situation directly in the eyes. Don't sweep it under the carpet. Don't be in denial. It's okay to accept that things did not work out the way you planned, or you didn't live up to expectation, or you did something wrong, or you got punished for something you did not do. Acknowledge the challenge. Number two, learn the lessons. Reflect on what has happened. Recognize the benefits of the challenging experience. There are always benefits. Harvest the blessings of that experience. As a result of what you've been through, for instance, do you have more insights, more experience, more wisdom, more patience, more empathy for those who are going through challenges. Maybe you can counsel other people better. Does this experience give you a seat at the table? 
Some organizations want to hire entrepreneurs who have failed before. Yes, you heard me right. They have failed before. Nowadays, being agile is a factor that can make you market ready and desirable. Agility in the corporate world, the ability to fail fast and fail early, do an audit, do a look back and get back on track. That's a marketable skill. In your case, you have the additional backing of Almighty God who says concerning you in Romans 8 verse 28, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. We're still talking about the lessons we're learning from that challenging experience. You may need to ask God for forgiveness. Yes, do that if it's appropriate. You may need to forgive. Yes, forgive those who have hurt you. You may need to forgive. Yes, forgive yourself. But I made a mistake, you say. Forgive yourself. You won't be the first person to make a mistake. God could have intervened before the mistake or before the consequences of the mistake started to show. God is intentional when he allows us to go through the fire. Take the benefits and cut the losses. What do I need to do to rise again? Number three, shake off the defeat. Remember that you have a goal. You are running a race and you must succeed. Shake off the defeat. Shake off the weight. Hebrews 12 verse 1. Therefore, since we're surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. The King James Version says, let us lay aside every weight. Other Bible versions say, let's throw off any extra baggage. Let's put aside every impediment. The contemporary English version, I like this one. So we must get rid of everything that slows us down, especially the sin that just won't let us go. And we must be determined to run the race that is ahead of us. Yes, shake off the defeat, shake off societal expectation, anxiety, depression, fear of failure, shake off fatigue, self-pity, shake it off. It's time to rise again. How do we shake it off? How do we lay it aside? How do we get rid of everything that slows us down? By prayer, through prayer, by asking God to take away the hurt, take away the pain, take away the shame. We could ask for healing, emotional healing, mental, psychological healing. How do we get rid of everything that slows us down? By believing God and his word afresh, by spending time in God's presence and by asking the precious Holy Spirit to breathe on you, to repair you, to refresh you, to comfort you, to encourage you. That's why the Holy Spirit is called the Comforter. What do I need to do to rise again? Number four, take on a conqueror's mindset. What is a conqueror's mindset? Believing that you are a conqueror, an overcomer, a winner, a champion. Yes, that is who you are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verse 37, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Yes, more than conquerors through him who loved us, other translations say. But in all these things, we overwhelmingly conquer. But in all these troubles, we have complete victory through God who has shown his love for us. One of the greatest hindrance to rising again is the battle that takes place in the mind. You are a conqueror, an overcomer, a winner, a champion. Say this to yourself in the morning and if necessary in the afternoon and the evening and as many times as your brain, your heart and your body needs to hear the words. Yes, I am a winner. Through Jesus Christ, I can do all things. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I really believe the word of God. Confidence and courage is needed for success in life. May the Lord God grant you confidence and courage. In Jesus' name, amen.
psychological, emotional, and mental stability are super important for rising again after being knocked down by the challenges of life. Yes, psychological success is important. Don't let anyone talk you out of your miracle. Watch your speech, guard your heart, guard your mind. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the New Living Translation is so powerful. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Wow! Your heart determines the course of your life? After a divine reset, we have a part to play. Proverbs 23, verse 7, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Silence that negative inner voice that is battling your future. What are you saying to yourself? What is your mind hearing when you speak? What is your brain hearing? The power of positive thinking and speaking has its origins in the word of God. What do I need to do to rise again? Number five, enforce God's word. Stand your ground. If you believe you've obtained a divine reset, stand your ground. God has promised you good success. Enforce his word. Stand your ground. Hebrews 10 verse 23. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful who has promised. The confession of our hope. What we say is important. Another translation says, let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope that we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Hold on to God's word. He keeps his promises. What do I need to do to rise again? Number six, don't be afraid of failure. Don't retreat. Be bold. Be strong. Be courageous because you are on the winning side. Joshua 1 verse 9. I have commanded you, be strong and courageous. Don't tremble or be terrified because the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. What do I need to do to rise again? Number seven, rise above your past. Psalm 3 verse 3. But thou, O Lord, are a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head. Yes, you will rise again. Rise beyond the disappointment. Rise undergirded by the experience you now have. Don't let the devil defeat you. Do new things. Conquer new territories. God makes all things new. He's a father like that. God is able to do more than you can think or imagine. So rise to higher ground rise to a new level, rise beyond the setback, rise to greater glory. In Jesus' name, amen. It's time to rise again. May you experience the lifting of God today. I pray that you will overcome every opposition, every setback, every challenge. You will not be overwhelmed. You will recover the lost years and God will grant you divine acceleration. In Jesus' name, amen. You will rise again. But are you qualified to rise again? Proverbs 24, verse 16. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again. Psalm 34, verse 19 and 20. The righteous person faces many troubles, but the Lord comes to the rescue each time. These promises of God rising after falling, the promise of being rescued, are for a righteous person, a person who is in right standing with God. And the first step in having that right standing with God is to accept his son, Jesus Christ. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus came to the earth, he died and resurrected so that you can have a successful life here on earth and have life everlasting, eternal life after you leave the earth. Choose Jesus today. Please give your life to the one who can change your future. You can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, right now by saying this prayer with me. And that prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. 
Almighty God, I confess that I have done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations if you have just joined God's family. To continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message, a text message, a WhatsApp message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, please add the code plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps. You will rise again. I'd like us to take some prayer points together. There are quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Prayer point number one. Oh Lord, please help me to learn the lessons from the challenges I have been through. Father, translate my setbacks into more experience, greater wisdom and empathy. Let my challenges be stepping stones to greatness. Turn everything around in my favor. Let everything work together for my good. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number two, almighty God, help me to shake off every defeat. I shake off pain, shame, self-pity. I shake off anxiety and depression. I shake off fear of failure and fatigue. I shake off every negativity and I rise above every evil. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number three. Oh Lord, help me to lay aside every weight. Help me to throw off every baggage, physical baggage, material, spiritual, emotional baggage, psychological baggage. Father, remove every hindrance to the manifestation of my destiny. Heal me, body, mind, soul, and spirit. Grant me grace, strength, hope, passion, vision, and divine enablement. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four, my Father and my Lord, please give me a conqueror's mindset. Help me to stand and enforce the victory that you have already won. Help me to guard my heart with all diligence. Let all your promises manifest in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five, Job chapter 8, verse 7. Though thy beginning was small, yet thy latter end should greatly increase. Proverbs 4, verse 18. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever brighter until the full day. Let us pray. Hope of the hopeless, deliver me from every affliction, every illness, every limitation, every ceiling, every barrier. O oh Lord, restore to me every wasted year, every wasted opportunity. I dissociate my life and my destiny from the spirit of rising and falling. I will rise and rise. I will shine brighter every day. And Father, let my rising be accelerated by the mercies of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six, Isaiah 61 verse one to three. Arise, shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of their rising. Let us pray. I arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is risen upon me, risen upon the works of my hands, risen upon my family. My glory rise in the name of Jesus. I arise and I shine and I conquer new territories. Lord, 
let me go from strength to strength in my career, in my business, in my marriage, in my relationships, in every area of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number seven are your personal prayer requests. I would like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18 verse 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Please lift up your voices to Almighty God, the omnipotent, all-powerful, all-knowing God. Lift up your requests. He wants to hear you. He wants to act on your behalf. Lift up your requests. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your precious promises. We're thankful that when we pray, you do answer us. I agree with all those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of Jesus and let those testimonies begin right now in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for praying along with me. And I do realize there are quite a number of prayer points, so you may want to come back later and go through them again. As we pray further, please feel free to type amen in the chat box. Today, you have risen. Arise and shine, your light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Your glory will never be hidden again. Kings will come to the brightness of your rising. Your light will bring men and women to Jesus Christ. Your trajectory will be spectacular in Jesus' name. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and never beneath. Your latter will be greater than your former. You will have complete victory. You will overwhelmingly conquer. Today, as you rise again, you rise into victory, into glory, into honor. You rise into prosperity, good success, peace and joy. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. <laughs> Please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time for the next edition of Healing Streams. Please like this video and share it. Bless someone today, you might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, TOD House of Favor, or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Piton on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Piton, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. And may the healing streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom. Shalom.